Hello, I hope you are having a wonderful day today. My name is Colleen and welcome to another video. So I've previously done one drawing video on my channel before and I had a lot of fun and I wanted to try it again, but I'm still definitely an amateur. So I want to apologize in advance for the camera angle because my the top of my head keeps on like coming into frame. So, kind of embarrassing. I tried to cut it out as much as I could. Um, but today's video, um, we're doing a gouache painting and I'm gonna try to explain my process and talk about what I was thinking about while I was painting this. Again, this is kind of like another experiment. It's weird filming yourself while making art because I was so conscious of the camera and like worried it was gonna turn off or not record that it was like kind of hard to stay focused on the actual artwork. So it's kind of a weird situation situation for me, but it's only the second time I've tried this out, so I think that makes sense that it feels weird. Um, the next thing I want to talk about right away is the materials that I use, because I actually did not film that, like I said, amateur. Um, I did not film the materials I used, so I have a little video clip that I'm going to insert now, and I did this painting in gouache, but I actually used this thing that's labeled as watercolor, but it acts like gouache when you use it. So I'm not really sure what it is, but I enjoy painting with it. And then I also use little tubes of Windsor & Newton gouache. And I find that that works really well on my sketchbook. I'll make sure I leave a link to everything down below if you have any question. So I've already started the sketch and that's how I almost always start when I want to paint is I start with like a base sketch of some sort and this one I'm using pencil in. And as you probably have already noticed, on like the left hand side of my sketchbook, I have some little colored pencil drawings. And I often do this where I like sketch out my ideas first before, um, before making a bigger painting. So it's kind of funny, my inspiration for this drawing is so random because a few weeks ago I saw a picture somewhere of like an old Victorian wig that was like all done up and like huge. And it made me start thinking about like hair and the shape of hair. And then for some reason I thought about a bird's nest. It's kind of strange how inspiration works. But either way, I, this idea came into my head and I wanted to make it. Another thing that I often do when I'm starting a painting is I use reference photos to um, kind of get the proportions and stuff right. So when I was like younger and when I was first learning to draw, I like never ever used reference photos. And now I feel like I can't paint or draw without one. It's crazy. I think I'm like dependent on them because it's so nice to have something to reference. I'm actually going to share. I have a reference photo of like a girl like turned to the side. And of course the end painting doesn't really end up looking like this, but the shape of her head and like the, the angle and the proportions are like basically the same. The, same. Um, the other photo that I use for reference is this wing of an owl and these will become her wings that you'll see later in the video and again it was just like I wanted to see something first before I came up with my own ideas so I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing but I tend to use reference photos or at least in some way during the process. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part, which is the painting. And like I said earlier in this video, I'm using gouache. And gouache is an interesting material because it dries really fast, um, but it also doesn't always layer very well. So you kind of have to be careful of where you put things down. So the very first thing I normally do is erase my dark pencil lines because some of the lighter colors, you'll be able to see those pencil lines through. So I tend to try to erase a little bit and paint and then erase a little bit and paint. And because gouache dries so fast, I can like erase like in the middle of painting, which I find really nice with gouache. I'm sure somebody else could explain gouache a lot better than I can, but I do want to say I really enjoy working with the material because I find it really quick and easy to use in a sketchbook. And so it's one of my favorite things to paint with, like in my sketchbook, where as if I was going to paint something um, outside of my sketchbook, I would probably choose watercolor or acrylic paint. So I've already got a little bit of the hair just kind of outlined so I kind of know where it is. And the next thing I'm going to block in is like her back and I'm going to choose like a skin tone color. Mixing skin tone is always difficult <laughs> and something I like about watercolor specifically is that you can dilute the color by adding water but I'm using gouache so unlike gouache instead of diluting the color by adding water I'm mixing 
a lot of white into some of my like tan and browns and oranges to make a skin tone and hopefully it'll work out. You'll see in a minute that the first layer was too light and so then I went in with the second layer and then it was way too dark and so then I had to like blend them together to hopefully get something closer to what I was hoping for. Um, but it all worked out in the end, thankfully. But yeah, so I like kind of doing it in sections, but I don't like completing anything right away. So I did a little bit to the hair, and then I went on to the skin tone, and then I'm going to go on to the wings, and I'm going to kind of jump around the painting, because if you add too much detail in one area, it's really easy to mess it up later. So... And you can see the top of my head. Again, I'm so sorry. You're going to see the top of my head so much in this video. I tried to cut it out as much as I could, but I wasn't always successful. And then as I start working on the face, um, it's kind of a side angle, so there's not a whole lot of detail in this picture. But like I said, I like doing like the base colors and like the details are the very last thing I'm doing. So I'm just kind of blending it in, trying to create a little bit of shadows. I love adding like the red to the cheek um, and I always get carried away with like blushing people whenever I draw, <laughs> draw them. Um, but it's so much fun to add that color there. I don't know why I enjoy that part so much. And then once I'm done with the first layer on the face, then I'm going to go on to the wings, which I was nervous for originally, but I ended up having a lot of fun painting them. I made them a little too yellow, like always. You got, Sometimes it's trial and error. If I was really taking it seriously, maybe I should have like tested out my colors on a separate piece of paper and I would have avoided these mistakes. Um, but as you're gonna see I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch of like too much yellow paint and then I'm gonna add colors into it later to dilute it a little bit So I'm going back in and adding a little detail and color to the hair and to the wings. When I was younger, I used to love drawing hair. I would just draw hair, it's so much fun. Um, and as I'm older, I'm still drawing hair, so I guess things haven't changed that much. But before I add too much detail, I want to do the background. And I chose kind of like a gray blue color. Um, and I really like having the whole like page or the canvas or whatever I'm painting on covered in color before I add in detail. That way things don't get like muddy when you try to add in a lot of color over a detail. Um, so I added in the background and then I'm going to continue on with the painting. I'm going to be erasing a little bit of my pencil lines so when I add in that detail later that you won't be able to see uh, the harsh, you won't be able to see like the pencil through basically. So I'm erasing a little bit of those pencil lines and then this is a part I was looking forward to so much is painting the eggs in the bird's nest and I chose like a bright blue uh, color for the eggs. I don't know, I was looking forward to this part so much, that was so much fun. And I paint down like the solid color first and I let it dry and then later in the video you'll be able to see me add in those little white, um, the little white highlights to make them look more 3D. I'm also adding in little grasses um, or like wheat, like wheat grains kind of to make it look more birds nesty and a little more wild. Drawing the hair used to be my favorite part uh, when I was like a beginner artist and honestly it's still kind of my favorite part. I love it so, so much.
so like I said painting the hair is my favorite part so I spend quite a bit of time at the end of this video adding in each little strand of hair drawing the little wispy flyaways I always get carried away when you get to draw the little wispy flyaways on somebody's hair that's like my favorite part to add in just like T -t 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 -t. I love that um, I was talking with my hands there and you can't see me make any gestures because this is a voiceover so sorry for my bad sound effects um, but as we continue with this video, I'm getting pretty close to finishing up. I'm just doing the last touching details. I like adding in some white gouache at the end to add some highlights. You'll see me add some highlights in on like the tops of the eggs to make them look more three-dimensional. Um, and I think that brings us to about the end of the video. You're going to see here in just a moment that the camera angle actually changes. Um, my camera died. Well, actually, I don't have a camera. It was my phone. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. My phone died and I had to reset it back up, but I wasn't actually sure of where the camera was before. So I ended up zooming in a little bit more, which actually turns out to be really nice because you can kind of get a closer look at the detail for the last part of the video. So this brings me to the end of the voiceover. I hope you enjoyed watching this painting and I hope you continue watching to the end to see how the finished product looks. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you again really soon.